Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 31 of my Wigan Warriors save here on the Football Manager 2016 beta. Now it's all down to the final day of the season. We could go into the playoffs, we could get automatic promotion, we could win the title. If we look at the championship, this is the current situation. So we are in second, we are one point behind Nottingham Forest who are in first. They are playing at the same time as us against Aston Villa, we are playing Portsmouth today. Watford are also two points behind, so if we draw or lose, although probably just the loss because uh, our goal difference is much superior to Watford's, um, then we are in danger of dropping to third. So yeah, we've got all to play for, I'm hoping for at least a draw just to get that autom automatic promotion because that's what I really need, I really want to be in the Premier League next year. And um, yeah, possibly a title. But yeah, this is we're playing Portsmouth and um, believe it or not, and Andreas Pereira is finally able to play in a game. He's still orange injured, but this is the first time. And um, yeah, I'm not going to play him. He's not even going to be in the squad. But I, I hope to loan him next year. Same with Gribben. Hopefully, same with Heymans. And um, yeah. Anyway, so this is going to be the team today. It's pretty much my strongest eleven. We got Zwick in goal, Furlong at right back, Chester, Hendry, Pierce along the back four. We got Hamza Chowdhury at ball wing midfield. We got Peter. Brezovec, he's back, advanced playmaker. Dimitri Mitchell is playing on the left. No, he isn't. He's playing on the left. Uh, he's playing on the. No, yeah, he is playing on the left. I just got it wrong before. Scott Sinclair is playing on the right. Callum Grubben through the middle. And Kiel, ha Kiel Heyman's up front. We've got Bachman, Massey, Lansbury, Dembele, Conti, Hedges, and McCann on the bench. Um, what's been happening since the last episode? Not a lot. We've just mainly had a few 0 0 draws. After that, first 0 0 draw against Forest, which you guys saw. Another 0 0 draw against Villa. Another one against Huddersfield. It's got to have to get with this one, to be honest, looking at this. Also, we were down to 8 men most of the match. Because, well, okay, 8 men for a bit of the match. Because Tumor was injured when we didn't have. Um, well, okay, 8.5, I'd say. Because Tumor was orange injured for a lot of the game after we made our substitution. I literally it was like the minute after when we made our subs about 60. Hang on, let me have a look. We made our subs around, yeah, we made our subs at 68th minute, and then Tuma got injured in like the 69th. But yeah, more no nils, and then finally we got we actually started scoring a goal against Sheffield United. Omar gave us the lead. Will Griggs penalty though, right before our time, got them back level, and nothing else happened. So yeah, that was another draw, and then we finally got our first win in about five games. Kiel Heyman scoring both goals away at Blackburn, which sets up this tight final day. So yeah. Draw and we're probably promoted. Win, we possibly win the title. Depends on, yeah. You you guys know what how it works, but yeah, this is going to be a team. We got um, yeah, we got Chester playing because Massey is a little bit low on fitness, and I'm just quite happy as Chetna's like I want I want most of my players to be 100 percent or as close as possible. And Massey, although he is a better defender than Chester, I can always bring him on. And um, Chester hopefully will do a job. I mean, he's going to score an own goal or something now. That's just going to happen. But um, yeah, this is going to be the team I'm going to submit. Got Portsmouth, who obviously have been promoted twice in a row. Where are they this season? They're 16, so they're having a solid season back in the second tier of English football, which is good for them. Um, we can secure our promotion to the Barclays Premier League with a win here. I expect nothing less. Okay, the fans express and secure promotion. I'm going to do that one. It's a little bit better. Okay, well, a couple of them listen passionately, but we're obviously going to do some calm. I have faith. The morale is looking superb in the defence, which is always good. And um, it's looking very good further forward, so I'm happy with that. Let's go out and get a win. I'm keeping an eye on that Nottingham Forest Aston Villa game all the time, um, just in, uh, just looking for any developments. So Gribben with an early free kick, and he's hit the bar. And as there are no rebounds, literally, that <laughs> FM have so overcorrected that there are no rebounds out from free kicks. You just can't score a rebound because uh, it was so bad last game. But yeah, there's just a couple of corners now. Gribben with the second corner, Chester Sinclair. Through to Yoranen in the Forest goal. Not the Forest goal, we're not playing Forest, Portsmouth goal. Another free kick now. Gribben in. Brezovic back to Gribben. Through to Heyman. Is he onside? Was it? I d he sort of like went around the keeper and then it was blocked. And it's cleared to sword out. Hendry fouled him. Um, but yeah, okay. It's still nil nil is what I can tell you. But um, yeah, we are we are playing quite well as it stands. Heyman. Uh, is has been offside. I don't know why I like made a big deal about Pierce. No, that sounds that that feels like a sending off. Like knowing, yep, knew it was a sending off straight away. It's just like when that's ah, uh, that's that's so annoying. At least it wasn't Chester. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna move Chowdhury back. We're gonna move Grib in here, and uh, we're gonna take him off for Dembele. So yeah, we're just playing like a four-two-two-one rather than four-two-three-one now. Which we're not losing anything defensively, which is the most important thing. Chowdhury can fit in at that left bit, left back position very well. He has done on multiple occasions, especially since we sold our left back. We're not getting, 
and and we, we we didn't get a new one in per se, although we had like Pierce and we, well we did get one, but Troy Sui is obviously still suspended from that um game where we were down to nine men or whenever. But yeah, I'm rambling. We're still still nil nil, and Forest have started winning, so. Yeah, that's annoying. Although there has been a lot of goals, which means that Villa can get back into it. They did. They have twice. So they've been to, they've been a goal down twice in, in the match, and I think they just scored a another equaliser just before half time. So I'm gonna say again, lucky boys. To be honest, I'm gonna at around the 60th minute after I made all my substitutions, I'm gonna switch back to counter. Yeah, so Villa did equalise. So it's three all there. A win here could possibly win it for us amazingly. But it's Sinclair. He's got to the byline, but that was poor. Um, and yeah, he just dribbled out for a goal kick. Adam Wester picked. Webster picks up a yellow card there for Portsmouth. But yeah, um, so we've already made one substitution. So we've already only, uh, we've only got two left. Looking at the people, well, Brezovic's looking a bit tired. Uh, we're actually dominating possession. I'm gonna I'm gonna calmly g tell the guys. I'm gonna encourage the guys. Villa are winning. As it stands, we're going top of the table. Imagine winning the title on a draw at home to Portsmouth, down to ten men. But thank God, Aston Villa Sacco has got his second. And it's 4-3 to Villa as it stands. This'll do. Actually, at this point, Watford possibly could leapfrog Nottingham Forest and us, but that would revolve, involve them getting like an eight-goal goal difference. Oh, Chico's been sent off for Forest, so it doesn't look that like they're going to get another one. I'm going to switch back to defensive. I'm going to make some subs because I haven't so far. Um, Hendry's looking tired. Massey. Furlong's looking tired. Conti. That'll do. Well, I have no choice. There. I've only got two more substitutions. And just, I pray that that result stays the same. I think it will. This is the final highlight. Just just blow the whistle, ref. We've won the league. We have won the Skybet Championship. Wow. I just that sort of this game sort of happened really quickly, similar to the last live com, another nil nil. Um I don't know how we've won the title. <laughs> just the f just this, the amount of draws and, and stuff that we got. We 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 might have the lowest goals scored for for um one of for a winner of a title ever, like we, it's yeah, we, we've won the league. I mean, we haven't officially won the league. Watford could do a miracle, but you know they're not even going to get past Forest unless they score four goals. So, um, and they're playing Blackburn, who aren't the best. They're in the relegation zone, but I, they'll be very lucky to get into that promotion zone. But they could do, and yeah, I can't believe we won the league. I'm just going to continue it to confirm it. Um, Wow, thank God Villa scoring, <laughs> not ever I scored three at home and on the final day of the season all they needed was a point and they they lost 4-3, wow. Um, I feel a little bit underwhelmed, we're in the Premier League, I should be absolutely celebrating, we're going to get so much TV money from this, hopefully the board will give us a massive budget. There you go, uh, so how did Watford do? They drew no nil in the end, Mankio got himself sent off. So yeah, all three, top three teams got got men sent off. Leeds also get two men sent off, so um, yeah, we've won the league. Let's have a look at this stuff. So Wigan have won the Sky Bet Championship title. There we go. What will we look back on? A 3-0 triumph versus West Brom, that was good. That was just after the January transfer window. 5-2 against Villa, don't really remember that to be honest. I think I should. 3-0 over Reading, 1-0 over Sheffield Wednesday. Helmut Heymans, of course, led the way, notching 10 goals. We did spread the goals around the team, it has to be said. 84 points, not the amazing, uh, not an amazing result, but yeah. There we go. Gaffer lifted the Sky Bet League 1 with Wigan. So we've now won League 1, Johnson's Paint Trophy, the Championship. We could win every trophy you can win, apart from, like, from, from League 1 up. That could be a thing. But yeah, Cardiff City, secure playoff spot, sure, well done them. Who else is in it? Reading, Sunderland, Watford, who cares? We're, we don't care about that anymore, we've been promoted. Transfer budget of £20 million. 450, I swear the wage now is like 200000 <gasps> Thank you, board. I love you, board. Yes, we're going to have to end our affiliate with Man United. That's going to be annoying because um, obviously they are, um, they were going to be in the same league then. Bonus is paid out, Cribbly. Is our physio? No, not our physio. No, he's a scout, isn't he? No, he is a physio. My mistake. I should have stuck with my guns there. McLaughlin, obviously our scout. Um, bonuses. McLaughlin is such a good like. He's so good at being a scout and a coach and everything. He's just uh, all his attributes. Like I, I'm sure many of you would have signed uh, Joe McLaughlin as a scout. Wigan fans, thank Gaffer. Wigan Athletic fans are absolutely delighted after the FM Gaffer as uh, and his team lifted the Skybet Championship. Amazing, really good result. Obviously, the board are delighted. 
How is that not to the end? We won the flipping league. What is it? 68%. 68%. Wow. Okay. Well, little. To be honest, they gave me a great transfer budget for next season, so I'm happy. Um, Lidl hails wonder making fa gaffer. Thanks, Andy Lidl, whoever the hell you are. He's a fitness coach at Ipswich, but he used to play for Wigan for quite a long time. Um, okay. <laughs> Not really anything. Curtain comes down on the Skybet Championship. There you go. Let's have a look at this. 4 3 to Villa. Uh, Diaphra Sacco, I might sign you, bring you back to the Premier League just because you did that for me. We're giving 50k for winning the champion. Wow, 50k, is that all? Wow, but we're going to get so much money from the Premier League, so I'm glad with that. Our balance is still in the black, amazingly. We managed to keep it all season, though we did lose a considerable amount, about 4 million quid. But we are in the promised land. I can't even, I can't even understand, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you see me applying for nations, I've just I just thought uh, just to see if I could get in, but I didn't want to make the make the board mad, so I decided to only go into the nations. So yeah, in overall best eleven, this is apparently the formation our best eleven. Obviously, we used to play this formation quite a lot. So Zvik is all, all of course there. Who's been added? So Dembele has been added, Chowdhury's been added, added Massey has been added, Heyman's been added. Dembele wasn't in it for his last year of perform. How is how, how is how it how is Harris Bukic still in the squad? Oh, Bertrand Traoré, what's he doing nowadays? I'm going to get a cheeky little scout report on him. He's at Red Bull Light Leipzig. Ooh. Ooh. We went to Livorno for 2.7. He then went to Red Bull Leipzig. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a cheeky little scout report. End of season awards. Signing of the season, Pereira. Fair enough. Can I can I get him on loan again yet? Yes, I can. We require no... Re Are they actually doing this to me? Are they... No more than... Oh, I think this is just the end of this season. I think that's what it means. Um, I don't know. I might as well try it. There you go. So hopefully we'll get Pereira again. I will do the same with Gribbin. So Gribbin obviously got goal of the season against Aston Villa. Um, Gribbin was young player of the season, signing the season, and fans player of the season was Musa Tembele, who won by a landslide. Wow. What was his average rating in the end? Obviously, his as you can see, his attributes are astonishing. 1.3 million is still a very good. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I'm signing this guy. Like. He has been fantastic. Has this only been his first year? No, it has been his second year. So yeah, yeah. Look at that. He only scored. He scored no goals, one assist, no play of the match. It's six point seven seven last year after playing forty games. But this year, twenty seven games. So much less. But five player of the matches. Five. Jesus Christ, he has improved. What a performance this year from Musa Dembele. He's gone under the radar to be honest. And Gribbin and McCann pick up second and third stats. Top goal scorer Heyman. Moose Dembele with highest average rating. Assist Hedges and Heymans with six. Best pass completion, Chowdhury, uh, with his cool afro there. Most player of the matches, Dembele and Gribbin. Most yellow cards, of course, Chowdhury. Most Rick. I'm surprised that ain't Chowdhury as well. Jason Pierce picks up two Rick cards. 23 yellow cards. Jesus Christ, he must have got suspended four times. Um, as well as his red cards. So, um, yeah, the season review. Obviously, we lost in the third round to West Ham. We lost in the first round to Fleetwood in those cups. But I think the board will be happy considering we won the won the title. Our average attendance is now 73% full. I remember in the first season that was something like 56%. So not good. Moment to forget, obviously, that MK Don's goal. And yeah, that was a great moment against them. Total players used 30. I guess that's pretty average. End of season meeting. So let's hold this team meeting. It's been a great season. You've done so well to uh, get us promoted. If you all give us a keep us up next year. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I think we have no chance. What? Really? I think I think we do. Um, yeah, the sort of overall that reaction I was hoping for. Although I respect those of you who don't agree with me, I can't with that. Yeah, they, well, they couldn't they couldn't go up because they're all on superb. A couple of people have moved from superb to very good, and Omar's moved from very good to good. That just won't do, Omar. You can't be good or fairly good or whatever that is. Um, yeah, end of com uh, end of season confidence review. We are very pleased with your performance, club performance, and competition. Yeah, a lot of this is just reading. I'm um, just yeah, fans delighted with the signing of Pereira. Of course, fans have been pleased with Massey's form. That's all good. End of season scouting report. Kamano, he looks decent. Um, he's not worth a lot, actually. Ooh, I will have a look off camera now. Injury report. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always do seven weeks on this just so we can get the best fitness level possible. So there you go. This is going to be the end of the episode. We have reached the promised land. We will be in the Premier League finally next year. And we'll start off our fifth season. I'll go through transfers, etc. And, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. If you have any, um, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I think I forgot that if you like this video, hit the like button. But, you know, do you know all that stuff? Just do it. And uh, I've been the FM Gaffer. See you guys next time.